Hi, I'm Silas. I am the owner and head chef of the Pantry on Eggbomb. So the Pantry is, uh, we're a small suburban brunch cafe in uh, Adelaide. We have a strong focus on community and giving back to the community and um, quality food and drinks and making our guests feel welcome. So the food is, is reasonably eclectic. I mean, we've got um, classic brunch staples like uh, eggs and sides, um, figures. Um, our specialty is probably our gnocchi, um, which we make by hand and it's very, very popular. Um, we've always got a specialist running as, as well. Um, most of my specials kind of draw influence from Mediterranean and the Middle East, but um, I will take inspiration from from anywhere. So the specials board could be could be anything at any given time. Our events have grown significantly, so we do dinner events, and the following behind our dinner events has grown significantly. Um, which is great. Dinner events are an opportunity for me to um, plan menus and um, serve food uh, a little bit more, a little bit different, and a little bit more interesting to standard brunch fare. Uh, so we enjoy doing those, and um, those, those events usually sell out pretty quickly. Uh, I think Adelaide brunch market has changed significantly in the last. Not changed significantly in the last 10 years, but grown significantly in the last 10 years. Well, we call ourselves a good karma cafe because we I try to operate this establishment by the golden rule, which is, you know, treat others the way that you want to be treated. So for me, um, I like to really engage with all of our guests and treat them all with kindness. We rotate them every six weeks, um, and there is um, a pretty significant backlog of, of artists waiting to get on our walls, which is fantastic. Uh, it could be anything. I mean, sometimes it's paintings, sometimes it's um, it's uh, prints or sketches. We try to get back to the community as much as, as, as we possibly can. Um, we've got our Pay It Forward coffee campaign, which is essentially where um, if anyone is in tough spot, maybe they're, they're out of work, um, you know, they can have their coffee on me, uh, but you don't just have to be out of work, like sometimes I might see, if I see one of my regular guests who usually comes in with a smile on their face, if, um, you know, I can see that maybe they're not looking as happy as they normally are, or if I just get the sense that they're not having the greatest day, um, I'll just give them the coffee as well, just to maybe see if I can put a smile on their face. We try to be as environmentally responsible as we possibly can. Um, very little gets wasted here. Uh, any food scraps go to compost. Uh, all our packaging, uh, takeaway packaging is compostable and goes in the compost. Um, anything that can be recycled is recycled. I think a vegan menu is important, but I think at the the root of, of the vegan menu being important for me is, is more not so much about accommodating vegans as such, but just being inclusive of everyone. So yeah, we do have a significant number of vegan options. We try to cater for all dietary requirements as, you know, as best as we possibly can. A lot of people um, want to be able to bring their pets with them. Uh, obviously, we're not allowed pets inside the cafe, but we do have outside seating uh, where pets are more than welcome. And I think it's just a, you know, pets are a part of your family. Probably our, our housemate gnocchi, which has been on the menu for uh, several years. Um, we've got a really good reputation for, and we it's always on the menu, and we just we just change the way we prepare it or the way we serve it from time to time. I think I do a pretty good job with the gnocchi here, um, and uh, our guests certainly agree. Oh, that's a good question. 
I mean, I, I really think we do a really good burger here, uh, and I, I, I can't go past the good burger myself. Um, and um, the smash pumpkin, which we're doing with um, chimichurri, which is an Argentinian um, condiment, is, um, is probably one of my favorites as well. Um, it can be hard to relax when you're a small business owner, to be honest with you. But um, I just like spending time with my wife and kids. I have two girls, and when I'm not at work, I just like um, doing doing things with them or just relaxing at home with them. Come dine in the pantry because we are very passionate about giving all of our guests the best experience that we can. We try to welcome all our guests as if they were family. We like to get to know all of our guests. We, myself and my team, know our guests by name and we know what's going on with them and their lives. And uh, that's something that we're really proud of. So I think coming here, you can, if you visit us here, you can be a part of that. And you can also experience the food and drinks that we offer, which we um, obviously take great pride in.